Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. It's a lovely day as you can see. Blue skies, but it's absolutely freezing. Um, so yeah, very frosty as you can see but we're gonna get on with it we've got a heater today so hopefully we can warm up the room a little bit and um, obviously we're gonna get the insulation finished today as well so that should help to keep the place a bit warm so today's task is to insulate the ceiling complete the insulation of the ceiling and to plasterboard board up the ceiling that's the plan for today and that will, will help to keep the heat in as well so we're about to start that now so let's see how we get on as usual guys thanks for watching and um, see you at the end. Right, so uh, as you can see, we're just completing the insulation in the vaulted ceiling area. We did most of the insulation yesterday and uh, we had to pick up another three sheets. So this ceiling has taken a total of nine sheets. That's eight by four or 2400 by 1200 mil uh, sheets of insulation it's taken nine sheets and there will be also nine sheets of plasterboard as well so obviously because it's vaulted it does take a bit more extra plasterboard and insulation than if it was all one flat ceiling and it takes longer because of the shape and the windows and stuff like that so uh, but it'll look it'll look really good once it's done so as you can see, we're just finishing up the last of the insulation and then the plan is to do some plasterboarding after.
So now that our insulation is done, I'm just starting to seal up any gaps or any small gaps where air can get through and and so on with which places that can cause uh, uh, leaks and stuff. So I use uh, an expanding foam, fire rated expanded foam, and I uh, just go through any little small areas and then obviously I'll trim it back once it's um, set and um, this is just an extra step to make sure everything's sealed up nicely so once this is all uh, set it doesn't take very long then I can trim it back with the saw and then we can fit the plasterboard Right, so it's after lunch now and I've uh, filled up all our little gaps and insulation and so on and we're ready to start fitting our plasterboard. So we're using 12 and a half mil square edged plasterboard. Um, this plasterboard, once it's all set up, it will be, all the joints will be taped up with fiberglass mesh tape and then I'll be skimming it all with multi-finish so it will get uh, a full skim uh, once this is all complete. So we're going to see if we can get the ceiling done today and um, hopefully we can get that done and um, tomorrow then we get on with the walls.
Hi right, guys, so we are done for today. It's been another messy plasterboard in insulation day. But good news is that we got the insulation done inside here and we've got a good bit of plasterboard on the ceiling. The ceiling is the trickiest part of plasterboard in here. This, the, the walls are going to be quite straightforward. So we've done quite well. I'll show you what we did. So you can see we've done pretty much most of this sort of area here. The tricky sort of angles and stuff we've done here. Uh, we've got a little bit to do up there just around boxing around the window to do we've done all of this ceiling the main middle ceiling area uh, we did this little ceiling here which you can have some spots in it as well and um, the last bit we did just now was this little bit here so tomorrow when we come in first job is to complete this area which we'll do first thing when we come in box around the window get that done and if the weather's good, we'll finish the last bits so or the slates on the roof. If it isn't good, then we will get some plasterboard and do the insulation, start the walls anyway, um, inside here. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let us know what you think so far. And uh, we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Take care.